<laughs> I like your hat. And one, yeah, see, this is my bass fishing hat right here. I was like, if I can, if I can fish with it, I, I should be able to coach you with it. So <laughs> should be good. Talk to me. All right, Coach. Well, uh, coming in from practice after day two here, um, kind of talked a bit about uh, about this with Coach Guest, but I'll go ahead and ask you. You know, this time compared to last year, you got the full spring in. You all did your chance to uh, get you recruit with your hair, like your hair was on fire and all that stuff. And going into this practice, like how much more excited are you? Like what contributes to it, and how does that come out in practice? Yeah, every year is a, is a different uh, element of your excitement and what you're excited about. And, I'm excited to see year two, the guys picking up the defense. I'm excited about the linebacker room, coaching those guys, and just to, what, uh, just seeing who can do what and putting all the pieces together, e even with the entire defense putting all the pieces together. So just excited about the new faces, the freshmen, the transfers, and just really trying to see what they can do and how can they help us and different things like that. So very excited, very excited. Day one to day two, how was practice today? What was the energy like? Great energy. I mean, great, day one was great energy, and obviously it was going to be great energy the first day of practice. And day two, after your legs are a little sore, you kind of watch, and it was the same exact energy as far as the guys coming out ready to practice. And I was very pleased because that's what we control. You control your energy. You may mess up on the play, but man, control your energy and how you come about your business and your other teammates to feed off of that. And very pleased with the energy today. Coach, I know obviously linebacker is a big question mark. Jeremy is the only one returning with experience, but you guys were able to do some more things this summer than you wouldn't, weren't able to do in years past, be on the field with the guys. So how beneficial is that, especially when you're trying to work with some of these incoming transfers? Oh, it was it was awesome for us to be able to work with those guys um, during the summer. And, you know, because really when you look at it, we brought, in a, we brought in a few transfers at the linebacker position that didn't go through spring ball. So it was almost like we didn't even have spring ball. So we had to really use the summer to install the defense and, different things like that. Now it's just going about how we practice. And they see now I'm right behind them like a, they ain't going sharp as far as running to the ball. If you ain't running to the ball, you're going you're gonna to find Coach T-Wheel chasing you. And um, But just our standard of practice with the summer was really, really good because we really used that like a spring ball for the guys that wasn't here. Coach, what kind of development are you seeing from Josh Salascar? Oh, man, Josh, he's in the room, so I'm going to say something nice to him since he's back. He, you know, he's back there. He can hear me. If he wasn't in here, I'd be saying all kinds of bad stuff. But no, nah, no, nah, Josh is an awesome, awesome human being. Like, he, he is our leader. He's a team captain. He was voted team captain. It's important to him. Like, his leadership is important. His play is important. He takes pride in his performance. Um, I'm happy to be his coach. I'm happy he's here. Um, just a super, super human being. I make sure you give me my tip when I leave. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, obviously, we've been talking about a bit about the linebackers, you know, and, and a big point of focus this offseason. But take it over there in the trenches with the D line. How much does all this youth and all these new guys? How much? How has that impacted them in practice? And how do you see them gelling? Because they have to work together to make the front work. Right. So just starting off with the young guys. Just now, we don't. We don't. We haven't had pads on, so that's real football. Right. But just seeing the guys move around. You know, we were very, very pleased with the athletic ability that we have on the defensive line and starting with our guys on the edge and even in the interior, the guys that we have. So we'll know more tomorrow. Um, just like I told the defense out there, the first two days was great and the energy was great, but we get to like put pads on and do like real football tomorrow. So a lot of guys, it'll be like a separation third day and kind of see who could do, do what. But um, it starts up front. We don't, we don't shy away from that. It starts up front with us. and. We really, really lean on our defensive line for us to be a successful defense. A few new names at linebacker, like you've talked about. What does Brandon Jennings provide to the linebacker room? Oh, he, he, he provides experience. You know, he started seven games at the last school he was at. Um, he's a physical linebacker. I mean, he looks like a defensive end. He walks through the door. He, he's exactly what it looks like getting off the bus. Um, so, very pleased with him as well. He asks a lot of questions. Ball is important to him. So, I'm happy to have him. On the similar note, Jason Johnson, a transfer, a lot of experience where he came from. What have you seen early off from him? Uh, you wouldn't know he's in the room, very quiet. He's just like a silent assassin. Uh, ball is important to him, you know, but he will ask questions. But while he's in the room, he's, he's just kind of there. And, but on the field, you can see the athletic ability. You know, you can see what you saw on film recruiting him. So it's, it's, I'm very eager to see all of those guys put pads. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a pads guy, you know, so I, I like to kind of see who can hit him tear off blocks and different things like that. Coach, in what ways do you think this defense can be better this year than it was last season? 
you know what, the second year in the system, just understanding what we're doing. If you can see the tail end of the second half for the season, you can see us trending in the right direction, just understanding what we're trying to do as a staff, understanding why we're calling plays, understanding, okay, we call this play and, we, and it gave up this weakness in the defense. That's the weakness. We can call a different play to stop what they're doing. So now the guys are just learning football, you know, and being, being in the right position, just doing your job, that, that sort of deal. But the second year in the defense, just growing the knowledge is the football IQ of it. Coach, uh, you have uh, two award uh, aw award watch list uh, players in Devon Wilson and Devontae Brown from Nagurski and Jim Thorpe. Um, this obviously lends one to think that they're leaders out there on the field, especially with all the newness in the front. From where you're sitting, what do you see in their leadership style? What do you enjoy? What, what do you observe? You have one that you would know who's in, who, he's in the room. You have one you wouldn't know who's in the room. So, so Brown is going to just go, it's going to be his play. That's his leadership. And then Newt is going to be his play and his vocal, vocal ability. So happy to have both of those guys. And again, the second year in the defense, the guys just understanding it. And, you know, just really having the whole secondary back is awesome. You know, and then it's, it's a, I mean, I think Quad, Quadra Bullet is a heck of a football player as well. He's not on those lists, but he's a heck of a football player. And you got so many guys. You got Justin Hodges that was playing the nickel, which we call the night position. You know, you got you got Thor, Thornton on the edge. You got DJ on the edge. So we got the nucleus of guys just making sure we put it all together. But very pleased with both of those guys' leadership. Terrence Lewis was limited in the spring. How is he coming along? You know what? Now he's we let him go free as far as – he couldn't go through the spring because of the injury, but now he's clear to go 100%. You can tell he's chopping at the bit to hit people and be in the right position. You can hear him talking, um, and you can see his athletic ability. You can see exactly why he was recruited highly. You got some true freshmen in the mix. Uh, anyone want to stand out early? How, they, how are those guys doing? You know what? I mean, all of those guys, we talked as a defense staff, we don't think we missed on any freshmen. I could, I could, you could name any, any one of those freshmen defensively, and we were very pleased with the athletic ability. Um, tomorrow, we're going to really see because we have pads on. Um, you know, don't want don't to, like, get too high or get too low, but we'll know more tomorrow. But very, very pleased. We, we, have, we had an interception by a freshman yesterday. We, uh, it was a screen that was thrown, and one of the freshmen broke up on. You could just see just the athletic ability in space that's going to help us out because we play a lot of teams that put us in space. So very pleased by those guys the first two days. Who is the freshman? Who, who got who the interception? Jakar. OK. <laughs> Uh, Coach, besides the linebacker position, what are the other questions that you're looking to answer over this camp? You know what? Just just trying to figure out, okay, who's going to be that guy to generate pass rush without us blitzing? You know, we're looking at Drop, we're looking at Josh. We got we got some young freshmen in KT and, and Jamal Johnson. We got some guys, KB McDaniel, trying to see, okay, who can get to the quarterback without us sending more than four? Just sending the four guys who can really generate that pass rush for us. So that would be another thing that we're looking at as a staff. A couple guys I noticed yesterday weren't practicing. Landon Woods in at the end and Quay Mosier, linebacker. Are those guys out for a little while? or what's Yeah, right, right now we're just waiting on the training room to give us give us a um, time of when they will be back. But right now they're not practicing. So tell me the story about your hat. Again. You, yeah, yeah. So I'm a bass fisherman. So this is like my bass fisherman hat. So I'm like, okay, if I could fish with it, I, I should be able to coach with it. To keep the sun. <laughs> and I, I don't like putting all that sunscreen on me and all that. So. I'm gonna see if it's you know it's big enough for two people, so it should block out the sun. So we'll see. Coach, a lot of recruiting excitement prior to preseason camp. A lot of guys, a lot of hometown heroes, a lot of defensive players. Just how excited are you for the future of this program and some of the players you've been able to attract? I mean, it's exciting. I mean, just following the lead of our head coach. You know, Coach Coach Malzahn said we're gonna recruit like our hair on fire. We're gonna recruit locally, and that's what we're doing. It's not gonna stop. You're gonna see guys go through go through fall camp and go through the season. They're gonna be so focused on football. We're gonna be able to do both. We're gonna be able to coach and recruit. Like our, our lifeblood, our lifeline is recruiting. You know, the X to the nose is great, but if my player's better than yours, this is a big difference. So that's that's the goal. To have really good players. Coach, what do you need to see from Tremont Morris Fresh this camp? You know what? Really, we were sending him off the edge. We, we want that juice off the edge, but he needs to watch the ball. Like yesterday, you know, he jumped outside. But I said, hey, if you jump, if you jump outside, you better get about three sacks in the game. You know, so just that he, he, he gives us so much juice off the edge. Like, he really does. Like, he has a different gear. Um, I, I really expect for him to really be a household name come off the edge this year. He just has just a natural ability of rushing the quarterback. Um, so looking for him to be that, be that guy to put pressure on the quarterback. That's all set. Appreciate it. Thank hey, you. thank y'all guys. Thank you.